There's been a lot of talk about Tom Aspinall's chances against John Jones in the UFC lately. And while most of it is just that, talk, at the moment, it's worth pausing for a moment to look at the implications. The noise has been enough to get Darren Till, a former UFC welterweight title challenger, to weigh in on Tom Aspinall's chances against the former light heavyweight champion in a heavyweight division fight. Till has trained with Aspinall in the past, and he believes that Aspinall has what it takes to beat Jones. In an interview with Low Kick MMA, Till said Aspinall is a big boy. He added that Aspinall is a dangerous man and a good striker. His jiu-jitsu is good, and he's got a top wrestling game. That's the makings of an all-around danger man in the octagon. Till himself is known for his striking prowess. He believes it's Aspinall's striking that could be the key to victory against Jones. He said he thinks Tom Aspinall's striking is brilliant. After all that bluster, he did however acknowledge that Jones is a tough opponent, who will present a significant challenge for Aspinall. He called Jones one of the greatest fighters of all time. Should the fight happen, it would be more than just a little hard. It would be granite. But he thinks Aspinall has the tools in his kit to walk away with a victory. Aspinall is currently ranked number 5 in the UFC's heavyweight division. He's been making waves in the division with his impressive performances in recent fights. Both his striking ability and ever-improving ground game have made him a dangerous opponent for anyone in the division, including Jones. Jones recently moved up to the heavyweight division. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest fighters of all time. Even so, Tom Aspinall recently issued a warning to Jones ahead of his move to the division. Minute, I'll take John Jones in. You and John yeah, Jones? Of course, of course I would. Yeah. Weird, to see that. I'd love to Jones see on that. the same team. Man. Would you just tag him in instantly? Aspinall said that Jones is one punch away from disaster and that he, Aspinall, has the power to end the fight quickly. In an interview with DAZN, Aspinall also stated that he is confident in his abilities. He believes he can beat Jones. All it will take is for one punch to land. Then, according to him, Jones will go to sleep. That said, Aspinall is not underestimating the former light heavyweight champion's skills. He's a niche heavyweight, he's not a standard heavyweight like his footwork's really good uh, his judge of distance is really good really interesting fight you want me to pick a winner he acknowledges that Jones is a dangerous opponent. Remember, Jones had a dominant reign as light heavyweight champion. It spanned over a decade. Aspinall's warning to Jones is a bold statement, but it is not without merit. His knockout power is undeniable, and Jones will have to be wary of his striking abilities. However, Jones is the ultimate tactician, and he is known for his ability to neutralize his opponent's drags. So it remains to be seen how he will handle Aspinall's power. In an interview with Heavy.com, Aspinall said he is not intimidated by Jones' reputation. Aspinall, who has won all four of his UFC fights via knockout, is considered by many to be the dark horse in the division, and his striking ability and size make him a formidable opponent for Jones. Aspinall also said Jones' presence in the heavyweight division doesn't affect his mindset. He made it clear in an interview that he welcomes Jones in the division. Vision. He added that he sees Jones as the legend he is, but that changes nothing. He still focuses on himself, and he still gets better every day. Aspinall's focus on self-improvement is evident in his training and his fights. He has been steadily improving since his debut in the UFC, and his striking ability and power make him a dangerous opponent for anyone in the division. Jones will have to be careful against Aspinall. With that kind of indisputable power behind his punches, he could turn Jones' life lights out with a single strike, for real. Simon Simano of MMA Junkie recently analyzed Aspinall's style. He noted that while he may not have the same reach as Jones, he is still a big heavyweight with strong striking ability. Aspinall's mindset and focus on improving himself make him a dangerous opponent for anyone in the heavyweight division, including Jones. According to Simano, Aspinall is not intimidated by Jones' reputation or his status as a former champion. A 
Above all, he is eager to test himself against the best in the division. In his last fight in 2022, Tom Aspinall faced off against Curtis Blades at UFC London. Aspinall, who was coming off a dominant win over Sergey Spivak, was looking to establish himself as a contender in the heavyweight division. The fight started at a fast pace, with both fighters trading heavy shots in the opening minutes. Aspinall landed some significant strikes early on, but Blades was able to weather the storm and take the fight to the ground. On the ground, Blades used his wrestling skills to control Aspinall, and he landed some superb ground and pound. Aspinall, who was known for his striking ability, had trouble getting back to his feet and was forced to defend against Blades' attacks for much of the round. In the second round, Aspinall was able to keep the fight standing and landed some significant strikes that rocked Blades. Aspinall continued to press the action and eventually finished the fight with a devastating combination of punches that put Blades on the canvas. For Aspinall, the win over Blades was a significant step forward in his career. It established him as a legitimate contender in the heavyweight division. But what about Jones? In what was one of the most highly anticipated fights of the year, former light heavyweight champion faced off against rising heavyweight star Cyril Gaon in a clash of styles at UFC 292. Despite Gaon's impressive kickboxing skills and undefeated record, Jones proved to be too much for the Frenchman. The win over Gaon marks Jones' second victory in the heavyweight division. And of course, it solidifies his position as one of the top contenders for the title. After the fight, Jones expressed his satisfaction with his performance. He said he needed to be patient and take his time. And he did. While weighing all of this up, also remember that Aspinall suffered a knee injury during his fight against Curtis Blades at UFC London in 2022. The injury forced him to undergo surgery and put his fighting career on hold. Aspinall revealed in an interview that he had torn his lateral meniscus during the fight. He underwent surgery shortly after the fight to repair the damage. He said that he was focusing on his recovery and taking his time to ensure that he was fully healed before returning to the cage. He has been working with a physical therapist and is making steady progress in his recovery. He added that it is a one day at a time process. He is doing the necessary rehab and he's feeling good. Aspinall plans to return to the Octagon in the latter half of 2023, maybe in September or October. Aspinall also said that the injury had given him a new perspective. It made him appreciate his career even more. He said being injured was tough, but it reignited his passion for fighting. Aspinall's injury may have forced him to take some time off, but it hasn't dampened his spirits or his drive to succeed in the UFC. With his rehabilitation progressing well, he is looking forward to making a return to the Octagon later this year and continuing his ascent up the heavyweight rankings. John Jones should pay attention. It will be at his own peril if he doesn't. We'll catch you in the next video, folks.